<laughs> Just I don't know. Well, back home and Conservative MPs have told the Prime Minister he faces a major party backlash over same-sex rights, insisting marriage equality is not inevitable. So, are they right? Labor's Anthony Albanese says marriage equality will happen in Australia. When marriage equality happens, which it will hopefully this year, people will look back and wonder what the fuss was about. So does Liberal Josh Frydenberg. I agree with the comments today. I mean, it is inevitable in Australia. The PM sister says you can't stop progress. This is a change that the majority want and increasingly small minority will oppose. You know, the sky won't fall in if we let uh, women marry other women and men marry other men. So is there anyone left who thinks equality isn't inevitable? The new world is inevitable. It's what? Inevitable! Things are inevitably going to change. Several MPs are on the anti-inevitability bandwagon, including George Christensen and Michael Sucker, who say the coalition should stick with existing marriage policy. And today came a dark, though anonymous, warning that if the PM allows a free vote in the party room, the backlash could cost him his leadership. Other right wingers have joined Christensen in calling for a public vote on the issue. We've had referenda plebiscites in the past in Australia. I don't see why. Politicians are more capable of making this decision than the Australian public. So is this going to be the straw that breaks the government's back? Andrew Lamming is the member for Bowman, at least he is until the mutiny happens. He joins us now. Andrew, I want to know what happens if the PM allows a free vote, apart from the mass hysteria. Is it the end of party unity? I think there'll be a strong push we'll lead for a free vote in our party room, but we don't yet have that. There's a number of MPs who'd like to see it happen. I'm one of them. Well, the Sydney Morning Herald quoted George saying that this would provoke an, an anti-Abbott backlash. George contacted us, giving us a statement today calling that bullshit. His words, not mine. I mean, who's leaking this stuff? A uh, good question. George Christensen, he's an MP from central Queensland in the tag team of uh, politics. I'd always want him in my corner. But on this uh, element, we do agree uh, the issue can't be ignored. This is not an email campaign coming from uh, selected groups around the country. It's red hot in my electorate in Queensland, like the rest of Australia. Well, sorry, when you say it's red hot, Andrew, what do you mean? Do you mean that well, you... The, the movement against it within the party is red hot? Do you mean that the push for it is red hot? What are you saying? Uh, you can't go anywhere in a community in Australia and ask this question about the definition of same-sex marriage without getting heated responses on both sides. Uh, ironically, many people haven't voted on this issue yet. I've asked my electorate every year this question and it comes back almost 50-50. It's a highly divisive and complicated issue, so I want to see, once again, my electorate having a say. And I've said to them, if they vote this time, and go one way or the other, that's how I would like to vote in Parliament on their behalf. But if this was entirely a conscience vote, totally up to you, what would you, your answer be? Uh, well, I will be open-minded. Obviously and self-evidently I can't push one barrow if I'm now asking my electorate to give me their view. But if you really press me to a corner, I'm in the Philip Ruddock camp of state-sanctioned unions, uh, regardless of your gender preference, uh, as some European models uh, have, and then leaving marriage well out of the hands of politicians with the churches right. or others that provide so marriage. So effectively saying we're going to ban marriage altogether as far as the government is concerned. It's just civil unions for everybody and if you want to have a marriage, go to a church or something. I don't think that this should be something politicians are brokering. So my job is to make sure that a union is absolutely recognised equally, regardless of your gender preference. And so in that respect, a civil union is the responsibility of government to make sure that there is utterly no discrimination. But when we talk about marriage, I do still believe that's a matter for you to take up with a local church. All right, Andrew, good to get a view from inside the Liberal Party room, although given the way you're dressed, I'm not entirely sure that you actually <laughs> are a member of the Liberal Party at the moment. It may not be consistent with Liberal pre-selection, but I'll do my best. <laughs> Not Tory at all. Very, very nice duds. Thank you very much for speaking to us. All the best, guys. All right.